Hey everyone, we're here today to uh, install these Ghostbusters cabinet hinges on my Ghostbusters premium pinball machine. So basically, uh, these hinges, as you can see, it has a Ghostbuster emblem in it, and it's done really well. It's cut like through over here, so like this opening behind it appears with the red. Uh, there's like a plastic red piece behind like a stickerish type of uh, film behind the rail and basically the red shows through this way so it gives it like a 3d effect um it looks like a like a bit of a laser cut type of uh style where the ghost kind of is appearing to uh, be popping out of the rail or the hinge whatever you want to call it so basically what we're going to do in this video is install these hinges on the pinball machine and they install fairly easy there's about three bolts you need to take off each side on the right hand side of the pinball machine we need to remove the power supply box to get to the hinge in the back box the two uh, bolts that are there to unloosen those to put the new hinges on there so we're going to do that next we're going to go to the pinball machine and take a look at how to install these hinges on the pinball machine disgusting blob Okay, so now we're looking at the cabinet of the pinball machine, and this nut right here needs to be removed to take the bottom part of the hinge off. So you have to get your ratchet set with your uh, driver on the end of your ratchet. Basically, you just take it, you know, just unloosen it. You know, to pop it out and then just hand tighten it and take the rest out and what you want to do is you want to repeat this for the other side for the right hand side of the cabinet and there's also a little nut on the other side of the cabinet that needs to come out so that comes out too after you remove the nut from this side if you have game blades on your uh, pinball machine what you're gonna have to do is take an exacto knife and kind of cut around this hole in here with the point of the exacto knife and just kind of get a nice shape it and hold on to that sticker once you're done because I'm going to show you once you're done just kind of put it on top of the nut so you don't really see the nut so you could kind of reuse whatever you cut off so try to make it as clean as you can so what we're going to do now is go to the other side of the pinball machine and repeat the step that I did on this side we came we saw we kicked its ass did you see it Okay, so here we are now on the right-hand side of the cabinet, and we re we need to remove three nuts to reveal the uh, the bolts that hold the hinge on onto the pinball machine. There's a nut here, where my finger is. There's a nut here, and there's a nut here. So I loosen this ahead of time, so I'm hoping I could just kind of hand tighten these off without losing any of them. And then this pops off like that. So you don't even need to take that top one off by the by the right here. So you just need to take the two off. And then it reveals the nuts down there, the bottom of the cabinet, of what you need to remove to take off the hinge. So we're gonna remove those two nuts. And again, we removed the one already in the cabinet. So now that hinge should just kind of come off after those nuts are removed. Okay, so now we have a ratchet on here, so we're just going to unloosen these nuts now. So now these just come off. And then this one in the front. My arm is in the way, but... So this comes off. And now this hinge should kind of just kind of drop out. If you take the washers off too, that's great. But if not, they'll come out once I'm sure the, when the hinge is dropped. It's hard to get a grip on this back washer. Okay, I got it. So now, um, Let's see if the hinge will come off. And 
then if you just unscrew the two screws that are kind of after you take the nuts off and just unscrew them down then the hinge should come right out and then you'll have your hinge I know it's kind of close up but that's what you're going to have so uh, that's how you take it off so let's put the new one on and see how it goes what have you got left sorry Beckman beyond the capacity for rational thought. Okay, so here we are now on the left-hand side of the cabinet, and we're going to do the same thing as we did on the right-hand side and loosen the two nuts in the cabinet in the back box here with our ratchet, and then just hand tighten these off. And then, you can only really see the one nut. But if you kind of go under the hinge and kind of, if you can just start on top and kind of, you know, jiggle it a little bit. And then you could kind of hand tighten these out. And then just push the rail down. Okay, now to put the new uh, hinge back on, the new Ghostbusters hinge, what I'm going to do now is just take the two screws that I took out of it earlier and kind of put it in. And they kind of have to pop in because they're like, they have a square edge to it. So you'll kind of know when you have the, the nut fully in. So we'll do one at a time because it seems like it's going to be a bit stubborn and of course my arm is going to be in the way. But we'll just take the one nut, put it through, then take our washer and nut and fasten that down so it doesn't go anywhere. Now we'll take the next little screw and put it through the underside of this hinge and again it, it's, you'll feel it kind of pop in all the way. You gotta like line it up. So it's all the way in. Put your washer on, take your nut, put it on the top, and that's it. Hand tighten just hand tighten it for now. Tighten everything down at the very end when you're done because now when you're going to do the cabinet um, you kind of need some of that jiggle to get it to work. So again I have a towel up here too to hold my DMD so I don't scratch the rails or nothing like that. So now though you kind of got to move the towel out of the way a little bit on this side because you kind of got to get under here to uh, get to the cabinet so we'll just take the DMD and put it back in a position for now so now let's just tilt the camera down a little bit and now what you want to do is take your cabinet bolts And you have a spacer too with that. And that goes in the middle of the hinge and the hole in the side of the cabinet. So you kind of got to get that in a position. First, we'll just take my nut and put it inside the cabinet on that side. It's a really bad camera angle to do this video, actually. And then I'm going to hold the spacer with my finger and put the nut, the square nut, through that. So now I have something to rest on. And then you kind of just got to line it up and just tighten your cabinet nut in. And that's really it.
So let me tighten this down and it will take a look at the rails once we're done. But that's really it. And you got your space here and there. You put everything together and you know your rail is on. So let me tighten that up. Let me tighten the two nuts that are in the head of the cabinet here and um, see how the rails look after the or the hinges look after we're completed. Okay, so let's do a recap of what we had to take off to get to the hinges, um, to take you know to to remove them and install them and all that because the angles are really bad of doing this installation. So uh, there's a nut here, there's a nut here. This power supply box comes off, exposes two nuts down there to take off your uh, your hinge to your you know to the rail over there for the back box. So let's take our DMD. Put it up so I could get into the cabinet here. If you look here, there's a nut here. That has to come off. That takes off the hinge here. So that comes off. And then you put your new hinge on. Put your new hinge, hinge it back. There. So that's where the screws go up. And then the nuts are on the inside of the cabinet. So that's how you put up on your hinge for that. So that's on the right hand side. And again, to screw everything back down, just reverse what you did to unscrew it. Screw the two nuts that are under that power box. Put your power box back on. Fasten your two nuts back to that. And that's it. So then your right hand side is done. So now let's go to the left hand side and take a look at what we had to do to uh, replace the hinge on that side. Okay, so now we're on the left-hand side. We gotta take off the two nuts on this side. Take those off, the two screws that are underneath the hinge on this side. Again, go into your cabinet. Let me move my DMD out of the way here. The nut that's right there, that has to come off. And then, basically, you put, you take off your old hinge, and then you put on your new hinge. So, let's get an angle on that. So that's what it looks like. So that's what the new Ghostbusters hinge looks like. And I have the side rails from uh, Stern on it as well. So everything kind of goes pretty well together, you know, with uh, the Ghostbusters hinge and the side rails from Stern. I think it looks pretty good. You know, the Ghostbusters hinge really makes it, I think. It's really done really nice. Again, it's like laser etched where it's got like this 3D effect where the ghost is popping out and there's like a red decal or a sticker of some sort underneath that that um, you know, gives it the, the, the logo from, uh, from the actual movie or image of the Ghostbusters logo. So that's really it. That's how you put on hinges on your Stern pinball machine, Ghostbusters in particular of what I'm doing. And that's it for this video. So thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, subscribe to my channel. You can see all my stuff at pinballsupernova.com. All the links are on there. My game room video, all the links to all the news on my blog, to my Twitter page, to my Facebook account, to my uh, WordPress and YouTube page, all the videos. So again, thanks for watching. Really appreciate the support and see you at the next video. Thanks.